This video will demonstrate how to use the Confusion Matrix widget in the Orange data mining software suite. To begin, go to orange.biolab.si and click on the documentation tab. Here you'll find the widget catalog and if you scroll down to evaluate, you'll see the first widget listed is the Confusion Matrix. This is the documentation that we'll follow in this tutorial. The dataset used in this documentation is the IRIS dataset, which took me a while to find, so I'll give the direct link here. If you scroll down to the bottom of this page, at the very center you'll see Download and Other Formats, and you can click the original format link to download the tab file. If you load this file into Orange, you can just locate it on your hard drive and then close out the file widget. This data lists three different varieties of iris flowers, iris setosa, iris versicolor, and iris virginica, which are classified based on their physical characteristics of sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. To visualize this data with a scatter plot, simply pipe the data out of the file widget into a scatter plot widget and you can see that the iris setosa tends to have very wide but short sepals, iris virginica tends to have longer narrower sepals, and iris versicolor has medium length sepals that are also very narrow. More telling are the petal length and petal width data. Um, iris setosa has very short, very narrow, therefore very small petals, iris virginica has very long and wide or large petals and iris versicolor falls clearly in between the two. This data has been loaded into a test learner and two machine learning techniques, Naive Bayesian and Classification Tree, have been loaded into this test learner as well. The Confusion Matrix widget allows you to evaluate the effectiveness of your machine learning models. You can see the two learners are listed here in this box, and you can select between them. As you can see, the classification tree model correctly identified all 50 iris setosa flowers and predicted them to be iris setosa in the model. Um, only 47 of the 50 iris versicolor flowers were correctly identified, and three were incorrectly identified as iris virginica. If you'd prefer to view these statistics as percentages, you can look at them as proportions of predicted, which show that 92% of the predicted iris versicolor were truly iris versicolor, and 7.8% of the predicted iris versicolor were iris virginica. And you can tell that by looking at the predictions, which go down in columns, compared to the true classes, which go across in rows. You can alternatively look at them as proportions of true, which show that um, 94 percent of the uh, true iris versicolors were accurately predicted, but 6 percent of the true iris versicolors were predicted to be iris virginica. You can select data within these tables. I'll go back to examples because it's easier to look at. Um, and you can select data in these tables manually, and the selected data will be run out the back side of the confusion matrix. Um, there's a selection box over here which I'll use to select all the misclassified data points. And I've run these misclassified data points into a data table so you can look at their individual characteristics um, and you can see their true class as well as the what the learner classified them as. And for an interesting visualization I've piped both the original data and the misclassified data into a scatter plot. Now if you plot petal length versus petal width, you can see very clearly that these open circles are the original data and these closed circles are the misclassified data. And all the misclassified data points lie on this overlap area, lie in this overlap area between iris virginica and iris versicolor. I hope Confusion Matrix helps you in your uh, schema building to evaluate your test learner's effectiveness and hopefully uh, build some very interesting models. Thank you very much.